Welcome back. New at 5.30. The tour continues for more than 100 Vietnam veterans in our nation's capital. 17's Aton Wallace is with those local vets for the latest honor flight and has more. Hello from Washington, D.C. Yeah, the veterans had a pretty busy day. They visited many memorials, including the Vietnam War Memorial. We'll have that in a moment. But first, this is how their day started. <laughs> With a police escort, first stop was Arlington National Cemetery. There, the group visited the tomb of the unknown soldiers. Oh. Next stop, the Women and Military Service Memorial. This stop was especially meaningful for the four women veterans on this honor flight. We're very capable. We're very capable, and we want to serve our country also. It is the United States for women and men, not just men. They shouldn't have to do it by themselves. And then it was time for the most anticipated visit of the day, the Vietnam War Memorial. The group laid a wreath and paid their respects. There was not a single dry eye, because as these vets tell me, more than 40 years after the Vietnam War, the memories from Vietnam are ingrained with them forever. It's just hard. It's emotional. It's emotional seeing, seeing all this and just something, some things that, that I've been living with for a long time. You know, this kind of brings some closure. Honored and humbled to even be here looking at them all. Very emotional. I love this country. If you don't like it, leave. These vets wanted to honor those who never came back, 58,000 men and women who made the ultimate sacrifice, including 17 young men from Taft. Everything from here down is called the East Wall. Janice Varner, who graduated from Taft High School during the Vietnam War era, led the effort to place portraits of these young men at the wall with the names of those who perished at war. You know, we got to escort 101 veterans here today to the wall and they got to see the wall. Those 17 veterans from my little small town never got to see the wall because they are part of the wall. So it's just our hope that when everybody goes by there, they see a name, they see a face, and they realize those were young men, and um, that's how I wanted to honor them. And then there was this moment towards the end of the day. As the veterans were touring the Air Force Memorial, middle school students from Ohio were cheering on in gratitude. It's just emotional because, like, they fought for our country and, like, they make us have, like, what we have today. Be sure to catch up with all the powerful moments from today on my 17 News social media accounts, as well as on 17 News Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. We'll see you at 11. Reporting in Washington, D.C., Aton Wallace, 17 News.